mic check one two mic check one two one two uh if you are watching this right now uh don't worry if i go too long i will have all of the chapters in the video or the replay of this live stream or whatnot but uh, we're gonna kick some music here a kai force day hi day. how everybody doing oh okay <laughs> that don't work okay but well that's okay that's cool. As long as I'm getting audio, just let me know in the uh, chat or whatnot. Uh, you are now kicking it with your boy. <laughs> your boy. Right, I'm bringing it back. Your boy, DJ Ab. Uh, I just dropped a video not too long ago, but we'll get into that. I'm going to give shout outs to people and uh, tweet this out real quick. So, you know, be patient with me. Gonna... Well, that works. Thank you for the sub. Um, yeah, the force is out today. Absolutely. What is going on, Naffy Beats and A Magnificent? What is good, my brothers? Good to see y'all in the chat, man. So uh, now we are tweeting live. We're doing it live. I wonder what's up with this. <laughs> no, it's just not working all together. That means I have to uh, change what's going on with my Streamlabs deck, at least the audio. Yeah, we're almost done here. Uh, let me know how the vis visuals are looking. I, I was seeing uh, the, the recent video that I did. The, I, I tried it out to see what's going on. What's going on, Destructo? Yeah, I'm doing okay. I'm doing well. Shout out to the 12 people that are watching right now. Uh, we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna get into it. I did not make this beat, by the way. This is just a demo track or whatnot because I have I have no reliable way of playing audio on my MacBook uh, M1 right now because I haven't set it up for you know success. Elegant, what's good? What is going on? <laughs> dust on my uh, dust on it? No, well. You know, I, just because I have it in the tuck, I just, I have a deck saver for it. So, you know, that's the, that's the biggest thing, you know. Yeah, uh, but uh, other than that, let me go ahead and, uh, go ahead and uh, give people their shout outs here. Well, actually I've been doing that. So, you know, when you fall through, just let me know. Uh, if you're, you're having a good time, check in, you know, the, the usual stuff. Uh, tell me where you're from or whatnot and, you know, if you're enjoying your day to day or whatever, and you know, we'll get to it. Sean Perry, what's going on? I'm over here looking at the uh, the live chat right now. Let me go ahead and do it right, right here. Uh, what's going on, Sean Perry? Mean Gene, what's good? Yeah, shout out to the 12 people who are watching right now. Um, so, proceedings of the evening, let's go ahead and do some housekeeping right now while I'm at it. So, I just dropped a video not too long ago, and yeah. I was doing fairly well, or at least what I wanted to be. Yeah, oh my God, I'm so mad about that shit right there. But uh, <laughs> I, did, I used the chroma key uh, to make it uh, clear, and then it showed up like that uh, after editing. But that that's what, you know, I don't know. That, that's the thing with using, uh, what's his face? Uh, speaking of, and then uh, my last video was the reacting to subscribers beats and songs live. Uh, I won't, I won't be titling it subscribers because I want people to subscribe to my channel because they want to, not because they want to uh, send their music in and they think that they're obligated to do that. Just kind of like the same thing, like you're not obligated to, uh, you know, pay twenty dollars to skip the line or anything like that. I don't want no obligations. I want people that want to be here and all that stuff, but. Uh, speaking of which though, uh, if you watched this Sunday, it was pretty <laughs> hilarious. Uh, we had somebody that jacked a professional producer's beat and then turned around and then act as if it was, it was okay. I mean, it was, it's all right, but I think it was kind of weird for, it was a weird take for something like that to go down like that. I mean, Jesus, why? But anyways, yeah. Uh, and then my last video before that was not this. It was actually a short uh, that y'all might want to check out. It was this right here uh, with some, some, some HTK. Uh, this was actually an older video. This is when I was actually starting to get the hang of IG. And this freaking video 
it went viral for me, which is like 10K views. It did better than 10K views. And that was a really dope moment. Um, some, some, some. HTK is a hell of a rapper. Uh, you know, he's a hell of a producer too, engineer. You know, you got, we got to do it all just to get a little bit of uh, views these days, right? But uh, yeah, so all stuff aside here, do a little bit more housekeeping and then I get into it. Uh, because I'm going to uh, make some beats on the Akai Force. That's why I haven't pulled out because I haven't used it in such a long time. And yeah, I think it would be a, a pretty cool video to check out. Oh lord, the sun's starting to come in now. Because I'm, I'm overly exposed over here. Holy crap. Holy, holy man. That's going to be a problem uh, later on this year when it starts to be sunshiny. Uh, but uh, yeah, anyways. Uh, housekeeping, housekeeping. If you want some free stuff and some cool stuff, uh, you can always uh, click on that link in the description box. It'll tell you about djavacree.net, which is my website. And, you know, I, I blog. And if you like to read uh, uh, information, yeah, it's here for you as long and the video format. So, you know, I try to offer some pretty decent stuff for the time being when it comes to uh, my website. And I also have uh, merchandise. I have free merchandise, and I also have stuff that you can pay for to help support this channel at no additional cost to you. Uh, you can always donate, too, uh, during the show if you want. It will help this channel. Uh, <laughs> I'm taking it to another place, another level soon. Uh, but one of the things that I have highlighted in the description box right now is the Lower Chakra 808s, which, you know, if you want to get some 808s that are kind of like Pierre Bornish, uh, Jetson, I guess, on the beat or whatever the fuck his name is. Uh, one of those type guys, Zaytoven, because that's originally who I heard that type of bounce from. Uh, these 808s uh, will suffice in that regard. You know, their kick and 808s combined. Uh, I made them using a decaps plugin called, uh, what is it? Plugins that knock. I, I just say plugins that, that knock. I've done a review on it. But yeah, it's free. Uh, you don't have to sign up for no mailing list or anything like that. You can download. Uh, you, you, if you want to sign up and get more free stuff or find out about other opportunities, uh, you're more than welcome. I'm not going to knock you for wanting to inquire for anything. But uh, yeah, I have a drum kit there that's free. Uh, shout out to uh, Young Beans. He was, uh, I saw him leave a comment on that video. <laughs> He's like, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> But uh, yeah, I'm a little late today. You know, I got some pretty cool stuff. Uh, Lords of Funk is pretty, really dope. You're in the 94 Memphis type shit. Uh, Memphis production, Memphis rap. Uh, these kits will take care of you. You know, the, you got the big one right here, uh, which has the samples and the drum kits. Then you have just the samples if you want the samples. And you have just the drums if you want the drums. I believe the loops are in there too, the, uh, the, the drum loops. And then I have some uh, stuff that I, I wasn't gonna sell in this pack uh, that has like Memphis uh, rappers on there, but it, there is a whole entire warning about that. So make sure that you read it. These are not for resale, not for sale. They contain samples that are not owned by me and so forth, but you know, uh, it is what it is. Also, I do have, uh, if you're into house music, by the way, uh, then you can download this for free. It's for a limited time. You know, during uh, Black History Month, I want to go ahead and uh, uh, give this man his flowers and his credit is due. I'm pretty sure everybody knows K. Trinata, and this is the Trap Trinata uh, kit. You know, staying true to this sound and, you know, just expounding on the Sofa House movement that is getting big, if it's not uh, bigger by the moment here. And I got other kits and stuff like that, too. If you're in the presets and stuff like that, just uh, check out the store. Uh, you, you can see a lot of stuff. And, and of course, you know, other things like uh, merch. Uh, I have merch and shout out to the person that just subscribed. Uh, I have merch right now on deck. And, you know, you get, if you want to support the show and you don't want to uh, just donate and not get anything, uh, you can always uh, purchase like a sticker, Trap Tendo OG logo there, uh, the Trap Tendo hoodie. I need to get a, a new version of that because mine is kind of dusty. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, the Lords of Funk. Uh, hoodie, the Lords of Funk sticker, uh, the note cap shirt that everybody bit off of me, and uh, yeah, whatever, it doesn't matter. But uh, <laughs> uh, anyways, anyway, anyways, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start to get some more shout outs here, because I'm pretty sure more people have came in here. Uh, we got 39 people watching right now. We are about, what, 
we're about nine minutes in because I didn't do any beat pre-roll. Uh, what's going on, Ram? Something, something, something. My nigga, my nigga. Uh, <laughs> what's good? Hold my beer. What's going on, DJ Tyson? I haven't seen you in a while. Uh, what's going on, um, CL? Uh, I don't know, Kelvin. Uh, said, what's up, Ab? Pigments 3 is on sale for $99. I know you already got it like every VST out there, but uh, would you pick that over another synth like Serum? Uh, I'm not. <clears throat> I'm not huge into Serum. Not like, not at all. Not by the least bit. I'm not a fan of that at all. I hate how this damn sunlight is just like blowing me out of the, of the picture, but whatever. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of Serum at all. To be fair, I think it's a good synth. I'm not, I'm not knocking for what it is. So, you know, if that's the case, you know, I, I you know, I congratulate, you know, Steve Duda for what it is. Um, but yeah, I'd much rather have Pigments 3 or Pigments in general. I always thought that Pigments was a good synth and I got to dive with it and play with it. But I, the video I did with uh, the live stream about sound design, I, I look back at that shit and it's, man, it's forgettable. I need to delete that shit because it was horrible. <laughs> The video I did was horrible. I tried my best to explain stuff, but I'll just go and do it again and make good sounds and make a good beat example. Uh, you know, so, but yeah, can't always be hot. Uh, shout out to uh, Dago for subscribing. And take on Paris, what's going on? Um, Mark Avery was good. Uh, the Israelite was good, my brother. Uh, PG Beast was good. Who else? I, damn, it's Isomatic. What's popping, my dude? Who else? Who else we got up in here? Uh, we got J Beats and Ways was good. Darth Impact was going on. M Eagle was good. I already said Destructo uh, was up, but you know, double what's up, and double what's up to my moderators all together. So, A Magnificent, you get your love. Hope, hopefully, Perk Dog is doing all right. Uh, Meets Made the Beat was good. Uh, uh, M, um, megahertz, I guess. I don't know. Uh, M hertz power was good. JJ Biggs was going on. Uh, Devil Stum, what is good, man? Let me know where y'all from. Where you check in now. 777 Orlando, the unknown ism, what is good? I almost missed you for some reason. Uh, Young Shinto was good. I think I said that. I think I said uh, Rom. So, you know, I think I covered everybody for, for right now. Yeah, so we got KY's in the KY's in the building, Kentucky's in the building, the UK's in the building, Columbus, Ohio's in the building. <laughs> the force about time. Yeah, I dusted it off. As a matter of fact, let me go ahead and put this by it so that I Yeah. DMV areas in the building. Bower County, Florida, god damn. <laughs> god damn. <laughs> what's good though? My high city was good. <laughs> so that's Denver, huh? You like how I stick my finger up like Dr. Evil? My girl always clowns me about that. And shout out to my boo thing. Uh, Wagga booty, what's good? What's going on, Stay Golden? What's good? Decatur in the building, what's good? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hollywood, Florida, Flaws, Houston's in the building. Gaston, Florida, what's going on? ATL, we already know ATL's in the building. The DSGB's in the building, you know that, down south Georgia boys. Uh, where did you get your Roland SP keychain? Uh, I got it from this website over here. Let me go ahead and look it up real quick. I'll show you, I'll show you what, hip hop. Uh, so I got all my little gummy thingies that these things, <laughs> these are not keychains or anything like that, they're USB drives. Uh, I don't care about the functionality. It's good that they hold storage, but uh, I got them from uh, this place right here. So, uh, and holy shit, look at all these damn pop-ups, man. I really don't like that. But I got uh, the SP404 from here. I just pre-ordered uh, the MPC 2000 XL because I missed it last time during the holiday season. And I just picked up uh, the A-Rap Music drum kit too as well, which is uh, pretty dope. I'm probably gonna pick up this Crate Lees joint. Jesus, 40 fucking dollars, dog? Man, y'all got, <laughs> shout out to drum brokers, but God damn, dog, y'all be wildin'. It'd be like 10 samples for damn $40, dog. That's way more, that's way more than an album. 10 original, dusty samples. 
<laughs> I could have said it better myself. Jesus Christ, dog. Compositions with and without drums. Okay, that's cool. That's dope, that's dope. Yeah, because some of the drums, I was like, dude, why would you put fucking sample, like drums over the samples? I was, I was wondering about that. But uh, yeah, I got it from there. Uh, my MPC, though, the MPC that you see right here, I got this from uh, mpcstuff.com. So for those who want to know, we over here doing housekeeping. We're doing the extended version of housekeeping. Holy shit. Um, yeah, I got it from mpcstuff.com. So that's what, if you're, if you're wondering about that, uh, let's go ahead and enlarge that because I'm so tired of that crap on the bottom. Um, <laughs> uh, MacBook vibes. But uh, yeah, so I got it from here. Uh, I guess I'll type in uh, ring in the search. Hopefully the search is decent. Nice 19 results for ring. Uh, I got my MPC ring from here. Uh, will they have the 3000 anywhere? Uh, accessories, you know, you can get it on Choose Your Ring. Repair MPC. But yeah, yeah, uh, this is a really good place if you want to get parts for like your MPC Live X01 or even older MPCs like the MPC 2000 Excel or the, what is it? What is it? Uh, MPC 2000 Excel 2000, uh, 2500. Uh, the 1,000 and so forth. The 3,000. You, you get, you get, you get the goddamn points. NPC stuff. They should have it. Uh, NPC 3,000. Let me type that in real quick. I know I'm gonna get a crap ton of uh, results, but yeah, I got it from here. Oh Jesus Christ! Jesus. Uh, NPC rings. USB. I'm gonna type in NPC USB. Let's get that in there. NPC USB. I guess that's the thing. I just tried to switch the beat all cool. NPC USB. There it goes. It's right here. The flash drive is right here. So I got that. I got this piece right here from this website. So you can see the NPC stuff right here. Flash drive. It's 30 bucks. So yeah, if you want to ask that question, then there it is. Uh, well, let's get back to the, the chat real quick. Let's see what, what, what we got talking about. What, what we talking about up in here. Uh, I just picked up this uh, the Super Crate League uh, bundle during Black Friday. Sheesh. Well, I mean, that uh, during Black Friday, that's when uh, Drum Broker is a more palatable website <laughs> in terms of like their deals. But still, I think $40 for 10 samples is asking way too much. That is like a, that's a 100% ripoff. Like, dude, you get out, like, think about it. You get albums, like back in the day, like CDs. For 15 bucks, you probably would get at least 10 tracks or better. And uh, on average, back in the day, it would be around like 20 tracks for $15, $15.99. We're talking about samples here. We're talking about samples that people are gonna buy and then they also want publishing. Uh, some, some creators on hip hop drum sample want publishing. And you know that that is kind of an issue that I, I don't I don't fuck with. Uh, but you know, other than that, you know, it is what it is. That's kind of the reason why I really mess with like Soul Surplus, Crabtree, and MSX Audio because you don't have to worry about that stuff because they, they they make their stuff clear and concise. So that that is a thing. So I'm reading the chat real quick and before we really get in. So I'm just doing Q and A and stuff like that right now. Before I really just dive in. So uh, let's see. It's grateful that people are out there like you, inspiring and teaching. And that was by I don't even uh, eccentric, uh, eccentric. And uh, thank you so much. I try. <laughs> I freaking try. I try my my damnness, man. A lot of content creators I uh, on this platform work really hard. I, I I give them their props, man. It's not easy to have setups like these and, and run and do this and then turn around and do other videos and have setups and then go and edit footage and all this stuff. Like, uh, as much as I like to clown, like someone like, uh, and I just be clowning uh, Lou Pop, I got much love for him. But what he does is very unique. It is hard to compete with someone like that. I mean, Lou Pop altogether, one, for starters, he gets all of his gear from the companies. They send it to him so he can do a review, keep it or not, you know what I'm saying? And I gotta compete with that, uh, you know what I'm saying? 
uh, and he does a really good job of, of, of doing reviews, you know, for the most part. Um, you know, a, a lot of, and, and that's what I'm up against. That's what I'm up against. So, you know, I greatly appreciate it for any little view that I get because a lot of content creators, they get stuff from everywhere. I just now, <laughs> after, it took me like 18, 1800 videos just for companies to even consider sending me loaner pieces. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? So, uh, the work is never done, and you know I, I wouldn't have it any other way. I know it's real; it's a really difficult thing, uh, and I come to terms with that. My channel may not grow a certain level, but as long as I put in my my, and, and this is something that everybody should fit. How everybody should fit. If you put in everything that you got into uh, whatever you're doing, man, uh, the results will pay off. And, and then just just keep on going, you know. Just don't let a little bump in the road just hurt you or whatnot. Uh, JJ Big said, "I don't like to use samples. Sometimes I get scared of using them because of copyright issues and stuff like that." Well, yeah, that, that that's always going to be a thing, no matter what you do. Uh, and man, you know, you just got to be a savage with it sometimes. Uh, but uh, I do recommend that if you are going to buy something off of off of drum brokers. Uh, if you're gonna buy something off of drum broke or hiphopdrumsamples.com, which is AKA BKA uh, drum brokers, read this right here. Read the license agreement. So read that license agreement, click on it, it'll say here, boom, 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 and it'll explain, you know, how what what they do and you know how they'll clear it. Uh, to be fair, I, I wish they would be more straightforward with it. Fuck the damn little lawyer information. Just say if you how much can you use it so people just cannot buy it? If you have a fucked up uh, license agreement, then I won't I won't buy it, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but yeah, crazy, I don't know, I, I have to read over it to, to see what it, but yeah, don't be afraid to use it. They have websites, again, you got TrackLib that sells you licenses and stuff like that uh, for samples and stuff like that, so don't, don't worry about it, man. Uh, those things, they're, they're out of our control, so you know, don't worry about it, man. But anyways, uh, so we got like 95 people up in here. I think I should just get busy because, you know, someone's going to say something. What's good, Ab? I made lo-fi house beats this morning. That's what's up, only the funk. Uh, some, some, some says, yeah, I feel that. Uh, I don't do close to what you do, but switching setups from recording videos to streaming to editing is a struggle. Yeah, it's very hard and it takes a lot of money. And a lot of content creators, uh, believe it or not, they have they have that kind of support from these companies. They get lots of money and stuff like that. I just what the way I did was I just read I, the way that I the way that I used to do business when I first started doing YouTube, like the whole oh this company's reaching out to me and giving me free software. That doesn't work anymore. Uh, I require companies to to put something uh, put money uh, put money where their mouth is. And that's something that a lot of content creators that, you know, if you have a following or not, because if you're in a niche, uh, regardless, what they're gonna end up doing is giving you an affiliate link. But the thing is about affiliate links is they're dope. Uh, yes, of course, you're making money and, it, and depending on what, what affiliate program that you're working, uh, which, which, which that you're working with, you might make pretty decent cash. But at the end of the day, it slows down and then that company has customers that they probably, that, that probably wouldn't have known about this company and you know you you as a content creator or influencer or whatever you want to call call it uh you gave them free business and that's uh one thing where i, I would like to give props to people like uh uh kyle beats i don't like his content i think a lot of this shit is bullshit and even that plugin uh that he uh, that he put out was garbage but still it's his product and i respect the way he moved on that and then he did it the exact same way that these uh, companies do it. They send it to people that have influence and then he gave them a cut. It's the same thing with Unison Audio. Unison Audio did the exact same thing with their shitty ass MIDI pack and their shitty ass VST plugins. They, they moved the exact same way as a lot of these other companies and stuff do. And you know, they offer this deal or whatever, but at the end of the day, uh, you gotta make conscious decisions of what you do. And if you don't do the, if you don't make conscious decisions on on what you are are putting out in this in this universe, you know it will backfire eventually. 
some people they may not ever get a uh, get caught up in a scam but trust me uh, <laughs> you know I believe in karma I believe that karma is a bitch and it will and it will hurt me much like it will hurt anybody else at the end of the day so but anyways what's going on hello from Russia hello to you hello from Georgia Atlanta Georgia Yeah, yeah, uh, MX Society was my 100% go-to, so I will never. Amacry did that MPC 3000 say it was like 7,000? Uh, probably so, if we're, if we're talking about mpcstuff.com, the, the full-on one. Uh, my pleasure, uh, hold my beer. All right, man, we, we, we've done enough talking, man. It's like what? Like, what is it? 25 minutes in yeah let's whoops my bad all right so <laughs> this thing right here <laughs> is the kai force uh it's had some <laughs> weird history <laughs> to say the least uh, i believe the for uh the firmware i'm running right now is the most recent version of this so it can this live stream can go any which way possible uh <laughs> this thing is charming i love it but it's also a pain in the ass uh let's see delete hold tap delete Boop. get the fuck out of here oh or i'm gonna delete this track all right yeah uh, it, it is a thing of beauty but it's also a thing of pain in the ass and Mainly, if you're one of the people out here that want to ask me the question, you know, would I do I prefer the Kai Force over the MPC Live X and One? Uh, I'm gonna tell you, I like the MPC Live X and One over the Kai Force, like hands down. Does that mean that the Kai Force is bad? No. Uh, this is more of like a clip-based Ableton Live workflow, and I believe the machine, uh, the Native Instruments machine, do uh, has clip-based uh, workflow too as well. Except this has, uh, you have more access to a lot of things in, in centralized. And this is way more like Ableton Live and <laughs> than, than any other group box out on the market. Matter of fact, uh, one of the last upda updates that they got, uh, they made it to where it, it's easy to be, it's easy to set up like Ableton Live. Um, but this thing has a lot of quirks about it. And it is very, and it is very in depth. Uh, I think yeah, about 120 BPM. Uh, what I'm gonna do here is go into the menu. Uh, there's no cogwheel. Preferences. Okay, they moved it. Yeah, this is definitely uh, 3.11. Okay. Uh, I will see in a second. I will pull up a plugin on that one track. So audio devices. Do, 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 do. Uh, but yeah, this thing has a lot of things that I wish the MPC Live or the MPC One had. Uh, had. Um, I mean, this thing has a lot of things that I wish the MPC Live and One would have acquired. Uh, main thing, it has XLR quarter inch jack combos. You have two of those. And uh, you have multiple ways to... Uh, listen to audio and stuff like that. And then, you know, you just have this volume right here. Uh, the only thing that's missing is the record volume being on top here. I don't know why uh, Akai has decided to put that in the far back. Always been a pain in the ass. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. But, you know, whatever. Every piece of gear that you get will have some type of caveat. Smoke gang. But, uh... Yeah, so there's a lot of new features in here. Basically, the Kai Force got everything that the MPC Live X01 got in the most recent update. Uh, and let me go ahead and uh, get back to the Matrix. Let's get it. Uh, let's move that out the way. And then it has one additional thing, which is the Arranger. And that is <laughs> the Arranger. For me, it's not the the major selling point. You know, I know a lot of people like want the the MPC Live X01 to have the Arranger. But for me, it's not a requirement. Uh, Workflow-wise, I like the MPC Live X01 more than the Akai Force for a, a couple of reasons that I already let Akai know about. Woo! 
you already know what's going down over here. But um, let's pull up a uh, let's pull it up. I think he hit edit. No, not edit. Oh shit, Lord Jesus. Select track edit. Hold and tap edit. I want to. I just want to pick a plug in. <laughs> it's been a while, but uh, I'll figure it out. Please, Lord Jesus. Damn. This the plugin, but which plugin am I am I hosting? Uh, it does feature like a touch screen. You can uh, fully uh, touch the screen uh, and then build the clips. Yeah, I'm massively struggling with this uh, program edit. How would you program edit on here? Uh, we uh, also made jokes that this is probably the most bloated piece, and that's where I don't want the uh, the MPC to be. I don't want it to be bloated uh, in terms of functionality and features. Uh, let's see. Uh, nope, that ain't gonna get it. Menu. How do you program edit on here? Ooh. <laughs> Whoa, baby. Track edit. There we go. Okay. All right, so uh, it has uh, a lot of the features that the MPC Live X01 has now. As you can see, it has uh, Selena. Let's pull it Selena. It's right here. Uh, and let me see. Uh, I know how to do note mode. Yay. And uh, Selena is a, a bit weird. I haven't messed with this. has the 64 pad layout so you can play chords this way. Uh, was it shift a note? Yeah, shift a note brings up the scales. Yay. Type of scales. Uh. Harmonize chords, progressions. Uh. Progressions, ballads. And then this has and one thing that's weird about uh, the what's weird about the uh, Kai Force it has progressions that the other one doesn't. Thank you for the sub. Set hit load. All right. Well, I'm going to do that. I'm going to go into the matrix and then I'm going to hit uh, load. No, that's not how you load your plugins there, sir. I see. Oh, I see. Okay. I see a plugin sign. No, sir, that is not it, Jack. What are y'all talking about? What are y'all talking about? It should be track edit. Track edit. Or it was, it used to be. Yeah, I just pressed uh, edit in the track number and then it pulled up the plugin. Yeah, I wasn't tripping. Uh, but it has other plugins and stuff too that, mm, hold on, I'll just... Right now I'm in progression mode where you can play notes with one finger. And given that it has a 64 pad layout. Yeah, more potential. Uh, is it edit and no. Is it shift and octave? Yeah, to drop the octave. All right, so I'm getting used to it again. I'll take this about, I'll take just about anything over the Kai Fire though. <laughs> you know, I had somebody actually get upset about my Kai Fire review. And at that particular time, there was a, a guy that, that has a huge following and he had a huge following at the time. And I, I get it, sometimes it's just not your time to uh, do videos like that and get that kind of a fame. But again, he, I, I, if I was to be quite honest, that dude is the wackest, one of the wackest uh, content creators because he, and when I say whack, I don't mean that he, he just makes whack beats or anything like that. I'm not judging his beats, but as far as the way he operates, he steals other people's content. And man, did this dude steal, people's, uh, steal my content. And his fan base, mm. uh, anyways, I don't give a fuck. He, he, can hold, he can hold that L, but yeah, he did the whole Akai Fire video, and regardless of my feelings of that, uh, the Akai Fire was probably one of the worst 
MIDI controllers are the the one of the, will go down as one of the worst uh, things that Akai has created. And Akai has created some pretty terrible stuff. But man, that dude and his fan base, freaking hilarious. Oh yeah, I forgot. Pressing and holding a button also brings up uh, other parts of the menu. So pressing, I'm gonna press and hold to edit. Uh, damn. And then they had the select button, which I, I just don't get. I just don't get. Like, why would you do that? But, uh, <laughs> yeah. So I can go on lunch. Oh, wow. Really? Oh, I never knew that. Uh, go on the matrix here. And, uh, and, and what the idea of this is, is since it's a clip launching, uh, you can set up clips. Now, what I want Akai to do is something centralized to where you can set up the clip length and prefaces. Like, if I can set up the clip clip length and prefaces and record and overdub and stuff like that, it'll feel more so like the NPC. And I think that's what more people want out of the Akai Force. But it has more of an Ableton Live feel when you're when you're live when you're doing clips. But I need uh, I need it to be tightened up a little bit. Uh, just, you know, for my sake and everybody else's. Uh, the pads on this is okay. Uh, they're not horrible, but they're in between good and why. Like, you know, uh, if if I was to adjust these pads versus the, the Push 2's pads, I would say that these pads are below the... And, and don't get it twisted. Akai made the Push 2. So that's why you have this right here. But anyways... Um, let's see, project defaults. I'm going to project defaults here, default MIDI monitoring, auto, default plugin, hype synth, uh, yeah, general. Yeah, I would like to set up the clip. Like, I, I wish the force also had song mode. It has a song mode. Oh, oh, you're talking about song mode like the MPC? Jesus goddamn Christ. You can set the default clip length. Where? Fire Cell Studio. Where can you set the default? I would love to I would love to hear that. And I'm not even being sarcastic. And uh if you're talking about like setting it like over here, like going in the clip matrix and setting the uh clip length, yeah, you can set the length to like four bars, but anytime that you generate a clip uh in general. It will not. It, it won't be four bars every each and, each and every time. At least from my experience. So uh, let's go. Let's test that out. I'm gonna go to track number two and just pull up another instrument. Uh, that's not the plug I'm gonna use anyways. But uh, hmm. uh, pull up another plugin and let's go to clip. See, it sets itself back up to two, uh, two bars, and that's not what I want. Uh, when you're trying to, when you're making beats live. Like for example, when I make beats on the Machine Plus, which actually does a f pretty phenomenal job of doing like continuous beat making, like live-wise, uh, and I don't have to set the clip. I can set the clip up in default, but I can't. But uh, I don't need to. Oh, word! They they got a JJ O L. Uh, uh, e. L. Summers, they got a JJOS version of that. Uh, what's what's going on, uh, a Perklum? Why you over here quoting the Spice Girls and shit? What's good, Perk Dog? Yeah, I'm waiting. I'm waiting on old boy to come back. Uh, fire sale. Yeah. Shift in length. Yeah, I want I want this dude to shut me up for real. Shift. And length? Where's the length button? <laughs> what? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> uh, there. Where's the length? Oh, shift and length? Okay. Fix length. Oh. But it only says two bars. Why, why just two bars? Four bars, that's launch quantizing. Uh, 
uh, edit lift. Clip defaults. Okay. All right. That fucking makes my body tingle. Oh, yeah. Now, let's create another clip on here. Uh, this is going to be the bullshit part of this. <laughs> I'm just going to create a drum clip for, for the sake of it. And then let's press clip. Yep, four bars. Ah, I see. Okay, okay. Okay, Fire Cell Studios. Okay. God damn you. God damn you, Jimmy. <laughs> Shit. Ah, now we talking. Uh, I'm a little worried, though. Let me see. Uh, play. Stop. See, I'm. <laughs> I gotta get used to this. Record. Record settings. Wow. Right. Automation when recording. Clip record to overdub. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Now let's go back over here to track one. And uh, let's get note mode up. Let's uh, go to the progressions. Let's mm, so exit out of that. Get your, what the? What the? F <laughs> I don't do some weird shit to my damn thing. Oh, no, I didn't. Progressions. I want to look at the progression anyways. C. C minor is cool. I don't like those those chords though. Man, somebody buy Fire Sale Studios a beer, a whole ass beer. Spread the news, mate. <laughs> Okay, I like that because that's really sound. All these sounds sound like uh, something that you would use in like jungle. Oh fuck! Speaking of which, let's change the plug in here. Um, let's go through Mellotron sounds. Going on, Happy Henry. Really? You've been curious about the force? Oh Jesus! This I hope nobody's getting. Uh, hold on. Let me see if I can tighten that up real quick. Give me one second, guys. Uh, I can't have this thing flickering while y'all watching this. Fuck around and y'all catch a seizure in this bitch. Uh, give me my console real quick and I'll mute.
check one, two, are okay. Uh, so <laughs> that didn't help the problem. That sucks. Uh, this is, by the way, all this flickering that it's doing right now, that's, it's not doing that in front of me. It's, it's because the shutter speed, I believe, is too low on my uh, overhead camera. And it's doing that and it's, it's giving you this little ghosty effect. Because I just turned on the lights in here. Mellotron is dope, uh, but I'm going to go and just do some simple shit and get my electric plug in. And, uh, oh, I just noticed something. Oh, there is a way of doing Q-Link workflow on here, but, you know, for the most part, I don't really need it. I'm forgetting that the Kai Force is very finicky with the. Uh, it's just finicky with um, the pad sensitivity. It is annoying. General, no, I forget. What would it be? Audio device, blah, blah, blah. Hardware, pad brightness, uh, pad threshold, normal, velocity. Pad response, velocity, say, blue, no. Go right here. Pad response. Yeah, the pad sensitivity is like. Plugin, uh, delete, delete. Oh, actually, no. Actually, no. What is their plain stuff like in their house? I don't need samples though. I need a program. Oh, I'm an idiot. I can grab the.
<laughs> Let me stop. Let me fucking stop, dog. tracks, but I don't remember how. Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Isn't there a duplicate button on this bitch? There's no way. Or... is how do you uh, side chain this bitch yeah I'm not feeling the clap but you know I'm, I'm gonna put the soul clap in there somewhere uh let me see edit so edit that's track number five so that means I can go in here and load some samples to my archives of stuff. I think I have a, a whole ass cage not a kit. Uh, I should on here. Um, yeah, I do. Matter of fact, let's go into Matrix, go and add another drum track. And this is what I'm gonna do. I'm going to load my MPC drum programs. Yeah, you can load your MPC drum programs inside of the Kai Force. <laughs> He's like, hey, I could just do that. Go 
all the way down. Oh, actually, no. Go on the matrix. Uh, time correct. Uh, oh, edit. Time correct. Or shift time correct. I'm trying to figure it out. Hmm. Time correct. It's not shift and it's gotta be shift. Edit. Or select. Nope. What's blowing me is like there's no display. There we go. Yeah. I do not want fucking quantize on for this next part. Jesus. Um, get this out the way. What's going on? Check out my mix in the car. It, I checked out my mix in the car and it was perfect. <laughs> this man, Macho Man, bringing the smoke. What's good, Macho Man? He bringing the smoke. <laughs> During this stream. <laughs> Macho Man. <laughs> Said, so, you know what? Fuck that. I want to smoke. I got heat for little niggas like you, bro. <laughs> what are you say? Damn, I can't think of the movie that was in. I can't think of the movie that was in where he's like, I got heat for heat for uh, niggas like you. Oh, oh, it was Baby Boy. <laughs> oh man, where's that deep house joint though? Definitely not the uh, bass I want. The warm house bass. And uh, wrong. Um, go octave two down. And uh, let's get out of that. And hopefully, go into note mode here. I can go into scales. Active. Let's see, shift, active. I want to want what 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 I want to want what
man. I rhyme and I rhyme and I rhyme and I rip, 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 drip, 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 drip. That's what I want. Well, does it? I wonder if it records like that. If I can record, record my settings. Record button, then pad. Uh, clip record to overdub. Uh, record launch. Uh oh. Oh! Damn, I could have did it right here. Emerson recording settings. Duh. Whatever. There's so many different ways to do this shit. Let's see if I can record over it though. Uh, delete, delete, <sighs> son of a bitch, whatever, delete clip, I'll do that, how about that? Oh shit, <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> uh, there's an undo button on here. No. <laughs> Damn it, man. I keep forgetting. When you go on to record, press the screen. Uh, try to get used to this shit again. SP404. Uh, I'll do that for another stream. <coughs> the uh, I think I left my my uh, the the battery thingy for uh, the plug 
the plug for my SP404 Mark II at, at uh, somewhere else. So. Give me a second, guys. Bottom right. Oh, shit. Oops. Press master to show master tracks. Output. Okay. All right. Plugins effects. So insert. Yeah. Whoever whoever's telling me all this all this sauce, man. I greatly appreciate it, cause man, I tell I kid you not, when I mess with stuff, I definitely want the MPC three thousand on there. to respect instruments like if you if it's a real live instrument get a real live freaking player dude you, you you're doing yourself such a you're doing yourself a diligence that most people would respect you know what i'm saying especially if it's going to take your joint to another level find a sample um okay i'm in here drum programs let's go and find some of my loop master shit and let's put uh, some vocals some crazy vocals in there house stuff what thing i will say that uh i like over uh what i like the npc over this shit it was in my head never mind i still like this but you know. uh this is mx6 audio where the, am i am i no i'm not tripping at all <clears throat> i'm in sample stuff butcher or is it under loop master might be under loop master where is it at loop Loop Master Packs. Okay, Loop Master Packs. Afro Tech Vocals. Where is... I have extra stuff in here? No, I just goofed up and put that in there. Shift. Delete file. Get that shit out of here. Uh, Afro Tech Percussion. Let's go and check out some of that stuff. I have ideas for that. I 
don't know if I like it, but. Chain, what? Um, well, yeah, well, yeah, 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 Mm. Uh, let's get out of that. That's not what I want. I know I have the fucking pack somewhere. It might be on the samples. Uh, no, it might be on the house stuff. House stuff. Okay. The Bollywood, Indian stuff, all my other stuff. Uh, dance floor. What? Afrotech vocals. No. <laughs> Load again. No, I am not going to do that to this. C minor. So we ain't going to play? Breathe. Oh my God, that's not what I'm looking for. I figured that. Where is my shit, son? My shit. I have like a pack. Oh, it's oh, there it go. There it go. It sounds a whole lot like a Chicago, like a, a existing Chicago house track, uh, but whatever. I don't care. Um, I do like those. Uh, I did like those bongo shits. Uh, let me go back and get those bongo shits real quick. Uh, Loop Master Pad, yeah, bongo shits, bongo shits. Uh, was in the African percussion. I know I can add some synth lines or something like that. Uh, ooh. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. No way. No fucking way. I doubt that. I, I was about to say, I was like, dude, 
You going to do eight tracks? What? <laughs> I, I, I know I don't remember that. Uh, plug in. And uh, let's see. Let's see what, what else we got here. By default, go into pads. Pads, pads warm. And some pretty good stuff in there. Uh, note. No. kind of to navigate it once you get the you when you get used to the workflow it's kind of uh, rewarding in the sense that you don't you don't have to go through the whole program edit switching and stuff like that I'm, I'm kind of used to the workflow on the NPC but you know uh, that is kind of annoying that uh, sometimes when you pick a new something uh, you overlap another pre-existing program or something like that because you're using the same program Thank you. 
Oh yeah. <laughs> That's gonna be What's up? Gonna wash your mouth out with soap. I think house music is all about the textures and how percussive you can be with your melody. If that's your definition, then that's cool with that's cool by me. I not gonna I'm not gonna define any type of music for what it is. Uh plucks. Plucks. House is big in Germany. House is oh uh, in the UK, your mother catch you using bad language. She would say, "I'm gonna wash your mouth out with soap." Uh, mm, that, well, I've, my parents have said that. Not saying I'm from the UK or anything like that, but plucks. Hold on. So I'm gonna go to that right here. Ah. You get smoke in your eyes. That shit hurts. Uh, hype synth. Uh, they have a pluck category. They have pluck hard and pluck light. Definitely don't want anything like that. And I think is this long chorus again to be on scale. tripping uh because whoa it's just randomly undo there we go oh i forgot no it is it is armed okay whatever goddamn Goddamn. Nope. <laughs> Complete trash, so delito. A delito. Uh, uh... 
trying to get used to the workflow and I'm bitching. You know how that be. I might start up an octave up. I doubted myself. That's what happens. Okay, I just had to make sure. It's a lot to do right here. <laughs> That's what it sounds like to me right now. I tried to remix it to be nice and fucked it up still. to be but if it's non then it what maybe I don't know let's play it again Oh, I 
screen back in the matrix into the mixer uh i want this on all right like it but man it boy talk about it well the, the basic idea is that you want to you know uh let's see copy then uh oop. paste copy paste copy paste ah copy paste copy paste but paste uh Copy, paste. and paste like every like every one of these clips over and then kind of like delete it before you uh record it in arrangement mode or whatever so i'm gonna copy and paste this shit over i only need like a few changes 
paste, paste, copy, paste, 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 and paste. You say you need sub in your headphones. Yeah. This dude post production got he got him a for he got him a force. He like I defend it. That's right. Goddamn right. You're doing God's work. Let's see. Thing on the bottom so that's cool so I need this 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 delete it delete <laughs> Obviously, I need a bass right there. 
Oh, I ain't mean to do that. Whatever. I'm still getting used to the timing. timing down.
Oh, this shit is fire. incorporate the fader in uh with the launcher but that shit is kind of cool though it's kind of cool <laughs> it's kind of cool <laughs> it's kind of fucking awesome man it's kind of fucking awesome man what the fuck yeah that is kind of awesome <laughs> their claps sounded like actual claps instead of like fruity loop claps well, if you're interested in uh, the the kit that I use, it's in the it's in the description box. It's on my website. Um, if you want to get like some pretty cool house sounds, uh, let's see. Let me, give me give me a second here, guys. Give me a secret. Uh, but the, uh, outside of the claps are the only thing that's not factory inside of the Akai Force, and it's from this pack right here. So I'm gonna grab it real quick. Boop, boop. It is right here. And it's on my website, djmccree.net backslash drum kits. Or just go into the store uh, right here in case you're not a drum kit. Uh, drum kit right there. It's the official soul uh, drum kit. And you just go into my store, go to drum kits, boom. And then you just scroll on down. I'm about to have a whole free uh, download section. I'm, I'm, I'm For some reason, I am bound and determined to... To get this thing popping, I, I I have I just don't I I just have no time time to uh fake mine. You feel me? You heard? But uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna save that jam. That was all right. I'll save that project file. Boom. Uh, I'm gonna save that. Actually, internal. Damn. I don't want to say that into the internal internal memory. Uh, I wonder if I can pull that shit up inside the NPC. That would be cool. That would be fucking awesome. But I think I'm asking too much. Uh, that's a house Tendo beat. Tendo. I'll get better on the force. I'm going to make sure I put the Kai, uh, at Kai Force. Bounce. Boom. Put that in there. Oh, shoot. But yeah, the claps sound <laughs> like actual claps. There's your answer for that, though. Uh, what's the difference between house and hip hop? Uh, we want to talk uh, on a technical standpoint. Uh, house uses what you call four on the floor is what you basically hear in here. So like just the 
they, they, the kicks are hitting on one, two, three, four, doom, 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 doom. It might help if I bring that in. But as far as like like regulations and guidelines or whatever, you can do whatever you want with house music. I mean, that's what most people are doing. So, you know, uh, and, and house and hip hop share similar stories. Like, uh, you know, end of the disco era. Matter of fact, Chic, the the band Chic, what which Good Times that was sampled in with in Sugar Hill Gangs. Damn boy, I'm I'm bugging out. Uh, the hip, the hop, the hip, the hip, to the hip, hip hop. You don't stop <laughs> that joint. Uh, it was sampled on that. Uh, that's good times uh, by by Chic, the band Chic. Uh, shout out to Niall Rogers. I know you be watching my my dude. What's good, bro? But um, in a similar sense, uh, the word house music, uh, the the actual genre itself was from. People making music in the house. Uh, I don't know people want to contest that and uh, dispute that, but it's uh, that's the case. Uh, house production and break beats all together, like thanks to the new sub, house music all together and break beats. Uh, put this down real quick. Have a lot of similarities because. Uh, they will sample, you know, uh, you know, specific grooves and re-loop those grooves in disco music and whatnot. And hip hop has similarities in that, too, because a lot of the records that we uh, sampled in hip hop uh, share uh, vast similarities, if not the exact same things. And that kind of uh, goes into like jungle, uh, jungleist music, you know, the Amen break, you know, uh, uh, tons of James Brown records. Uh, one style of uh, of house, ghetto house, or or Baltimore clubhouse, uh, which have similarities as well. They do a lot of sampling in there. They sample phrases. Uh, they sample. Uh, they use four on the floor uh, uh, tactics, uh, much like this right here. And then they. Uh, then they use another break that's very famous, uh, Lynn Collins Think, uh, which is a like a classic break. And they chop that up in there. And then that's where we kind of pair off because a lot of uh, Baltimore housing and uh, ghetto house has uh, a similar. Pardon me. Uh, and garage like uh, garage and UK garage share similarities in house music as well, except uh with uh, UK Garage, uh, you have more of a two-step that's similar to hip hop. It's just at a faster pace, and uh, or not maybe not hip hop, but I would say uh, R&B styles like uh, New Jack Swing, uh, but at a faster tempo. Uh, and you know you, you got all kinds of different genres that you can play with with uh, the house genre altogether, and and many many electronic music. Uh, genres share very, uh, simil uh, a lot of similarities in sample choice and production, uh, usually common 4 4 time signatures and stuff like that. Uh, uh, <laughs> garage is the shit. Uh, I, I agree. Garage, I love garage, uh, by the way, guys. I got some garage uh, beats, but not on here. I got them on my uh, MPC Live 2 and my one. Um, I wish I could. You can't pull up MPC projects inside of here, uh, inside of the Akai Force, unfortunately. But, you know, I, that would be asking too much, right? But uh, B. Moore has always had that fire. Detroit ha is the real house. Nah, I thought, uh, nah Detroit is, is the home for techno, bro. And I'm not saying that just to be an ass. I'm just saying that because that's where most people will, will, talk, will talk about uh, the similarities in that sense. Uh, I mean, and and I could be ignorant to the fact. I'm not trying to uh, knock Detroit uh, house production at all. Not a not not a single second. Um, you know, I'm I'm still a little wet behind the ears on this journey myself. Uh, I just been kind of like uh, exploring other genres that that are popular 
people love but aren't as easy to reproduce and and people copy unless you give them the formula or whatnot uh and you know i've been blessed with kind of an ear to understand and i'm old enough to know where a lot of the records come from then there's a a whole bunch of data all over the internet uh who sampled go to who sampled and you can find out anything that you want man uh as far as what who sampled what uh why they sampled this phrase uh you know what where where's the origin of the artist and so forth there's a lot of uh things that can be said about house music altogether uh to be honest so you said deep deep house I'm, I'm no, that's, that's what Andy Mac, uh, excels at. He does like a lot of fire ass deep house shit. I mean, well, Andy Mac is kind of just like versatile like that. He's really dope. But, uh, yeah. Um, but house music has a lot of similarities to hip hop, man. Like a whole bunch. It's just that, uh, the pattern of the, the, not, not the, or the pattern of the drums, uh, usually is, uh, four. Uh, one, two, three, four. That's your kick right there. That's the count uh, at you know at a specific BPM. Maybe around you. You could do uh, some funk at like one at one fourteen uh, BPM. I think the king of like that type of style would be uh, Rick James. Uh, by the way, if y'all never heard, if you heard of the Rick James bitch, uh, go listen to Rick James music, bruh. And be be prepared to be blown off your uh, your socks, and then you'll understand uh, the the people. Uh, once you listen to uh, Rick James, like first album, which I do have, it's in the other room. Uh, check out Ashburn and Simpson. Uh, they wrote a lot of uh, stuff for Motown. They wrote a lot of stuff for a whole bunch of uh, of your favorite uh, artists of that time. Yeah, it, it won't. Yeah, I, I know it won't load. I tried that. Oh, yeah, yeah for sure. And, and Andy can get down. I meant to do a, a uh, interview with him, but, you know, my IG, which I worked so hard on, got freaking deleted. Thank you, uh, Meta. And I did ask for a review because I don't do anything harmful on there. And they just deleted my stuff and tried to and stole my money. Yeah, George Clinton, for sure. Uh, Funkadelics and stuff like that. Uh, but that has a different kind of, uh, vibe. Uh, Detroit is techno and acid. Damn. Somebody put the whole entire exclamation points in there. Had only the front. Yeah. I don't want to uh, limit a region to a certain style. Like there's people out here in Georgia that make really good, uh, like they make really good. House beats, uh, they make really good uh, hip hop tracks and so forth. You know, it's kind of hard. I, don't, I, don't, I know I, I would be offended. That's why I was trying to ease off, dude. 16 track, uh, Curtis Blow. <laughs> These are the breaks, Curtis Blow. House is the best music to get to get be people together, get people together. Detroit is house. Damn. Are we really about to do this in the comments? I mean, in the, in the chat? Yeah, for sure. I'm, I'm pretty sure, uh, you know, like you might not know, so somebody might come from Montana. I remember one of my favorite house artists is Kate Trinata. Uh, and he's much younger than me, uh, but he is so much more skillful than me. Uh, and his ear for music is just like you, you're only born like that um in my opinion and you know i respect his style i've i've imitated obviously uh this is much like something that he would produce just a little bit different um but uh Katrinata is definitely one of my uh, influences as far as like house music goes and he's from canada you know, he's from Canada and he has one of the best DJ sets that you can ever watch on YouTube. Just, uh, just YouTube or YouTube search, uh, K Trinata boiler, boiler room. And you'll see like, there's not another DJ that touches like his buzz, 
You know what I'm saying? And man, two classic remixes. I definitely, I like the Janet, uh, the Janet Jackson joint. It's just a murder classic. And when you do remixes of other people's songs, it's, it has to be better. And this is just like, oh no, this is the damn standard for Janet Jackson, that Janet Jackson song. <laughs> like for real. Uh, and that uh, Rick James on a Zed Pick Ghetto Life. No UFOs. I'm, in, I'm just reading the chat right now. Montana does have a dope uh, hip hop scene. Seattle Seahawks. <laughs> I mind you that this dude is a Seattle Seattle Seahawks fan. Hold on, get me chat break. <laughs> there we go. The grass is truly greener in Georgia. <laughs> yeah, I'm just still. <coughs> <coughs> Damn, this this whole Detroit started house and and uh, debate is crazy. Man, just, just give Chicago that man. Give Chicago house music, man. Come on now. I'm just saying. Yeah, but I definitely want y'all to check out Katronada, man. Katronada is a really dope uh, Canadian house producer. I wouldn't even consider him a house producer. Homie, homie can do every genre of music, and it has like a signature style, much like how when Swiss Beats used to make beats or whatever, and like a, a primo that kind of signature you know what i'm saying like timberland timberland you know i got it you know you, you know you know timberland was like the superhero for a lot of us you know around in my or at least in my age bracket and uh you know katronada reminds me he has the he knows how to put on a pair of clothes on a beat and then he knows how to make it simple but also complex at the same time that's not easy to do and that also sounds as dumb as what I how I said it. Detroit knows where the real house was happening. Oh Lord, y'all dudes is going in on that. But anyways, um, I'm gonna have the timestamps in this or the chapters built into this live stream. Uh, it's a pretty cool struggle stream. I think I think we answered, uh, got a lot of stuff answered, and I played around with the uh, Akai Force. I probably will come back to it again uh, Thursday, but I might pair it with some um, with some hardware. Pretty much the same workflow. It's a little better, honestly, uh, on the Akai Force. So we're gonna do that, uh, and yeah, for real, it, it's gonna be a really dope um, on Thursday. Of course, Wednesday, I will have videos up on the channel. I'm dedicating myself to staying in touch and actually talking about shit on my channel versus not doing that. Uh, and uh, making sure that my channel returns to this greatness that people uh, enjoy about it. So, you know. How much do I use the force? I don't use the force that often. Uh, but I find myself when, you know, playing with it out, there's a lot of things workflow wise you got to get used to. Uh, there's a lot of buttons on this thing, guys. There's a lot of buttons on this thing. Uh, and it's definitely not the same type of device as the MPC Live X01. It's not. Uh, you know, there's some features that came over from the MPC Live X01. Uh, the, the one main feature that they added in this recent update firmware update which is when i say recent like last year close to close to the end of this whatever it was disc streaming so i mean let's keep it real that's gonna come to the mpc live x01 dog like that's coming like come on like stop playing with me um if hype simp made it to the mpc 
uh, then yes, this stream is gonna come too, for sure. Uh, thank you, a special shout out to Fire Cell Studios uh, for your knowledge on the Kai Force. There was some things that you really uh, opened up in my mind uh, because it's not easy to like not use the Kai Force and then use the NPC a whole bunch. And then you go to the Kai Force, the workflow is uh, it's a tad bit different. Um, and I like it, I like it for what it is too. Uh, there's some things I actually figured out that, you know, uh, I don't have to worry about you know, certain things. I didn't do the the arrangement view or anything like that, but you know, Thursday I have a tighter stream. Yeah, so yeah, the, it's a lot of knobs on this thing, man. And this, it, and this thing is huge, guys. This shit is huge. I don't even wanna get, get up to get my uh, MPC one that's like right over here to the right of me, but it is huge. This thing is massively big. And I had to build a setup so that I can, <laughs> so I can further utilize it. Uh, let's see here, preferences, I'm gonna preface this. I wonder if this is on hardware. Screen brightness is on day, it needs to be on night. Damn, goodness gracious. Uh, now we can see, it looks like it'll be all right. Like I, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do some adjustments to it, but yeah. I enjoy it, yeah, for sure. The the force memes, may the force be with you, is 100% uh, one of the things I like about it. I like this because from Akai, when they do venture off into different machines like this, uh, they tend have a tendency to uh, underdo it for it. And this is such a different thing than the MPC Live X or one. You know, it, it marks a new journey. And there's a lot to get used to and a lot to like about it, you know? Uh, work, I had to tighten up my speed, that's about it. But uh, yeah, the force looks so good since the FW updates. Oh yeah, I mean, yeah. Uh, I know they raised the price, so they, will, they lowered the price and kept it at $1,000 and now it's back up to $1,300. I saw it today and I was like, yo, I'm, I'm waiting on the Behringer clone yikes well <laughs> i mean i know that they hired a whole entire soft like uh you know rd department basically you know software developers or whatnot but man if your os sucks that can make your whole entire machine a, a travesty and nobody knows that better than akai it's happened to them a few times and it took them a while to get to this point and now that we're at the point now, it's, it's kind of in a debate if this is, you know, good. You know what I'm saying? Like, if this is, like, one of the best to ever be released, you know? Because there's a plenty of uh, samplers out there. Is that, is that Snowflake Ascidian on your uh, on the wrist F? What? Are oh, you talking about this right here? You talking about my beads? I'm gonna let you think about. I, I'm gonna let you uh, guess. Uh, for the hardware, if the, if they could add MIDI mapping on a per track basis, it would be dope. Well, I know they have like I know they have this right here, like MIDI learn and control. Uh, let me get out of that. Uh, MIDI learn like you can set up how to uh, to learn it now it's it's I don't understand it because I haven't played with it uh, I don't think that's your uh, that that's, that's what you were saying though uh, they got ding because no song mode yeah at first now nah, it, it definitely has the best arranger of all groove boxes and now you can record full vocals on your Akai force and this has like two XLR uh, quarter inch combo jacks on the back, uh, combo uh, ports on the back. And that's Im really important to, you know, do in your music. I wonder if this has the looper. Okay, cool, it does have the looper, yeah. I'm talk, uh, you're talking about the Roland TR-909 clone? Oh yeah, I want the, I want the, the Behringer RD-9.
but I still want the the rolling. I still want the rolling uh, boutique uh, TR909. I want that shit for for what you know. what I'm saying if if, if we're gonna do house shit, like let's let's get it really pop. They have on this little way. <laughs> You know, so an audio core pack is really basic chord progressions. The pad performance mode in the MPC is better. Well, yeah, because you're, you're you're talking about AI versus a chord pack, <laughs> like <laughs> like, and then he just mm, never mind. <laughs> Don't get me started on that company, <laughs> the lighter. <laughs> oh shit. They need to add real life DAW uh, capabilities and, and a real computer mode. Uh, other thing they need to add a spot uh, is track explode. Well, I, I think the reason why they might have, uh, why they did with uh, out track explode because you, you're doing it per track. Like each clip is this individual track. But I, if you're referring to like, if you're making a drum, like if you're playing your drums on here or something like that, like, uh, shut up. I forgot. <laughs> see, I'm still getting used to the button layout on here because it's not so similar to the, let's see, the, uh, the live or whatever. Uh, oh, yeah. I got to. Uh, let's see. Uh, edit. Nigga, I select the track. There we go. <clears throat> oh, that brings you in the program from the drum kit. What's this? Uh, that is what? Hopefully I did not just do anything crazy trying to show. Oh, no. Did it just do it? Damn it. I didn't mean to do it on uh, on accident. But I think I just uh, separated the tracks. Yeah, I, I did separate it. So they have a way of exploding. I just don't know what the hell that is. Fuck. <laughs> All right. Well, I saved it already anyway, so fuck it. <laughs> and I think I could just undo it. Yes, you can. Oh, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> Akai is a company that understands shit. <laughs> The boutique is digital. The RD, uh, oh, uh, the RD nine is analog. Well, yeah, I know that. I know that the uh, the boutique version is uh, a digital synth. I don't care. It's it's still made by Roland, uh, and you know, as somebody that uh that likes to collect pieces of, of gear, like you know what I'm saying, like I much rather have that. You know what I'm saying. Uh, and, but I I would like to have the Behringer RD nine. To be fair. Uh, I have looked at the prices for the Behringer RD9, and they are through the fucking roof right now. Like, first of all, they're out of stock at SweetwaterZounds.com. I haven't tried Amazon, uh, and, and that's where a lot of people sleep on buying their gear. Your gear gear be hella cheap on Amazon, Doc. Um, what else? I haven't tried uh, my special spot. In in the United Kingdom, <laughs> damn, why my shit won't work? Hater, uh, but yeah, man, like I would love to have both the RD eight, uh, the Behringer RD eight. Um, I wouldn't mind having that because it's a TR uh, TR. 808 but man i am so sick of like i don't know i, I don't want to say i don't want to say anything uh negative about music but yeah can you export multiple sequences i'm always exporting one at a time uh on what on the kai force uh, I, I don't know for sure. Uh, let's see here. Save. 
save projects, projects as Ableton Live set so that you can pull this up in Ableton Live, which is actually good if you want to mix your stuff in Ableton Live. So I mean, you could you could separate it. Uh, you can separate all the the different uh, clips or whatever. You can do uh, stems too. Uh, you would just have to put it in arrangement mode uh, to do that. Yeah, it always are everywhere. I mean, and, and I don't, don't want to be discouraged about it, but it's just like because I like that style. You know, I'm a huge fan of DJ Magic Mike, and. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, I remember a group like, like, uh, quote unquote, uh, my, like Miami based booty shaking, quote unquote, bo booty shaking music. I'm a huge fan of that, you know, being from the South. Uh, but yeah, I've heard it for a long time. Just, and it's, it's oh, what's in stock and on sale? Let me find out uh, Behringer don't sent, sent over a secret sales first. <laughs> and I was like, um, yeah, I'm going to make a, uh, <laughs> how to make a two live crew type beat <laughs> tutorial. <laughs> <laughs> for the Uncle Luke <laughs> Uncle <laughs> yo yeah stop playing with me dog <laughs> Beatmaster Clay D bruh boy I had some tapes I had I remember I remember uh, the group Nemesis uh, and I wasn't into the raps but their beats was hard as a motherfucker I believe they was from Texas Uh, Anderton's got dope prices. For sure. Yeah. I, see, the thing is, and, and usually when, you, when I order gear from overseas or something like that, they always have a better, they have a better delivery service. You know, they, they have, they have all this shit together. <laughs> he said, <laughs> Macho was like, DJ Magic Mike, you went way back. Nigga, like, uh, Magic Mike's music to this day slaps. It's like, what the fuck, man? This dude was <laughs> basically making, like, beat tapes that he would rap every now and then. That dude was, like, hell, is hella talented. That man is hella talented. And he was a DJ. You know how hard it is to uh to blow up as a DJ in in music, bruh. <laughs> or uh, what it was back then. He's basically the pioneer. Now it's now it's, it's it's more acceptable, like especially in electronic music. And uh, that man never gets his uh his credit. Jam Pony Express, what? <laughs> it's, it's like slow down music. Come on now. I got I got people I got people out in Florida, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like I got people out there. Man, I got people all out here in the Southeast region. But anyways, guys, I'm about to slide up out of here, man. Uh, y'all have a blessed day. It was good talking to y'all. Um, again, I will have, like, some stuff tomorrow. I got to remember what it is. So <laughs> uh, I'll do that. Uh, y'all have a good night. God bless. <laughs> Peace on out. Peace on earth.